for it myself. In 1988, I bought this car, 88, 89, and my brother-in-law and I, we did a lot of the work ourselves, and when we ran into uh, some problems, we turned it over to some real guys. Um. I need Sammy and Mike behind the curtain. Will you help me with that? Yeah. Are you ready? From the first uh, moment that I met my, my partner Brad Fanshawe and I, I became part of the Bond Speed Company, he knew that I was more of a hands-on guy. I like to know exactly what's going on and, and be part of the creative process. To me, that to me that makes it more gratifying when you bring the car here. And if our cars do really well up on the block, it just it feels good that somebody likes likes the car that we created that much. The Bond Speed guys bought a lot of really cool cars to Barry Jackson this year. Those guys were guaranteed to create a lot of interesting stories with the smoke clear. I came over to consign my cars, and that's when Craig and I decided to start doing business together on the other side of things. So I knew it would be difficult. I can equate it. It's, we're at the Super Bowl, and it's the fourth quarter, and people are coming down in the field to to ask you like little questions like, uh, hey, what kind of shoes you're wearing and stuff like that, you know? So it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. Thanks, Mark. Hi, this is Brad. Brad's really good at, at taking something and maybe looking at it a little bit differently. That's what we try to do, you know, give it a little bit of a different edge that'll set it apart from other cars. We got the truck, the Bond Speed Celine Thunderbird. My Black Rose is back there. The one-off Jaguar right there. The Sunfire we did for General Motors. Did a lot of delegation, got everything handled, and uh, now it's just the butterflies of uh, five cars going through at once. Yeah! All right. I need Sammy and Mike behind the curtain. Will you help me with that? I'm waiting to find Mike and Sam because when the yellow car comes up, they're supposed to be merged from here. Oh my gosh, what's going to happen? Basically, it's kind of a, a design company. We've done different things. We've done watches, we've done apparel. We enjoy driving our cars. It's kind of the lifestyle. Brad Fanshawe, when I first met him some years back when I was doing a hot rod, he, he was uh, into designing and, 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 and working with hot rod builders. And that's where I actually first met him and we struck up a friendship. I'm surprised at how many people he knows in the business and kind of in awe of it too. You know, it's, it's pretty cool. These are all one-off front bumpers and rear bumpers. We do them out of clay, and then we make a one-off uh, mold. So these are concept cars that we do for Ford Motor Company. That's a nice touch to have a hole in the bed sculpted to show off the independent rear end. That's cool. To me, you have to put that little extra, whether it be just that little extra detailing into a car, or that little something that just makes it pop. It's the only one in the world, you know? So you have the okay. only one in the world. We're excited, I mean, you know, it's the only one in the world, you know? So hopefully it'll do well. It's Selling five cars at Barrett Jackson, at first I asked Brad, I said, what, what are you doing? Having five to six cars go across the block all in succession sounded great. As it got, as it got closer and more and more people were coming up asking questions and tapping me on the shoulder, it got pretty nerve-wracking. I'm going to go over there. Sam's gonna go back, sit in his car, and then when the hammer goes down on the last of uh, the Bond Speed cars, Mike's gonna jump in the car with uh, Sam. Brad's always kind of worried, oh my gosh, is this, where's the sign for this car and whatever. Are they getting ready to blue, move the black rose up? Well, they called me and said, the cars are coming up in the staging lanes. Is Michael over there? I'd be standing by the cars, and then Brad would say, no, 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 well, they want us to go over here. Then my telephone rings. Hi, this is Brad. Hey, Sammy Hagar's here. He's up at the front gate waiting for you in his limo. Craig Jackson wants us to go stand over here and, and, and do this and be ready to go up there. Getting nervous, Mark. And then all of a sudden, my phone rings, and some executives from Bombardier Jets arrive. And then I'm behind the stage. Get ready to come up on stage. So I'm going, okay, well, I can, I, I can delegate to one person, and, and I'll go to the other one. No, 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 wait, we're, you know. Ask Jamie if she's seen Sammy anywhere. 
Does he know where he's supposed to be, when he's supposed to be? You just point me and give me a little push. Now I'll go that way. And that's that's where I'll go. You tell me where I'm supposed to be, I'll be there. I'm halfway to the other back up to see Sam. My phone rings. Edsel Ford's here. His wife, Charlotte, and myself, we'd, we'd be like, Brad, don't worry about it. It's all it's all great. It's all going to be fine. We just need to get Sam. I saw him yeah. over here. I tried to drag him over to the cocktail bar as often as I could. <laughs> Sorry, Brad. It, it did kind of work, though. <laughs> Ready, man? Yep. First car's going up. Let's get up there. You're trying to keep everybody together. Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? I need Sammy and Mike behind the curtain. Will you help me with that? Yeah, they need to be behind the curtain when the yellow one goes on stage. They're back there with, just follow the boom mic. I've got the first rolling up on stage right now. Can you maybe call me back? I gotta see if the guys are back here, if they're ready to go. I'm waiting to find Mike and Sam because when the yellow car comes up, they're supposed to emerge from here and join me, so hopefully we can get them out of the crowd out there. Oh, Sam's in Craig's motor coach visiting with Craig and Carol Shelby. There's so many fabulous cars, so many people, that if we don't do something special with the guitars and with the guys coming out, um, yeah, you might get good money, but you're just another car. We really want to get great money and, and break through, so everybody kind of goes, whoa, what are these? When Brad puts the bass in my hand and goes, Mike, go out on stage, we'll hand you the bass and hold the bass up, and I'm going, First off, I'm nervous. I've never done this before. The girls are going to pull the guitars out of the cars and hand them to you, okay? To me? Yeah, because that way you can walk up to the guy's bid and go, man, you going to get me to sign this for you? You know, that type of a thing, right? Yeah, you want me to pimp my bid? Come on. How's when you get nervous? I had my realistic goal set for that car, and it was exceeded in the second bid. And the Jaguar, it just stopped. There's a jump. There will never be a more significant this car for sale. You can have it, but I'm going to make you pay. tried to set three goals. One was, man, this would be a great goal. Then a realistic goal. And then the, I'm going to be really bummed if we don't get at least this much for the car. How's when you get nervous? So the first thing we did was, I got Mike up there. We walked out and the Sunfire came up. Next up, we've got a 2003 Pontiac Sunfire Speed Cult Coupe. I had my realistic goal set for that car, and it was exceeded in the second bit. Winning better is designed to match, designed to match the car. And this uh, guitar, by the way, goes with the car. The car just had furious bidding. I was very happy and very pleased with what that car went for. $80,000 for a one-off Sunfire. Whoa, this is gonna go great. The yeah, next car rolls up. It was the uh, Jaguar. And the Jaguar, it just stopped. This one's stalling out though. Yeah, look at that thing. Roll away. Uh, Jaguars are always hard to sell. Yeah, guys. I know, I know. Plus things are easy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes our cars suffer because people don't realize all of the many things that were hand fabricated and done until they really take a close look. And I think that's what the Jaguar suffered from. So we uh, were a little disappointed in that one. We're going to go over right by the car. One of the other cars we sold, five or six cars in succession ever again. For me, it was just too, too crazy. All I can say to like the people that, that bought the cars is that there was a lot of blood and a lot of sweat that goes into those cars. I always look at it, not what each individual car does, but the collection. I think we're, I think we're good. Okay. I think we're good to go.